Let me start with an idea of liquidity budgeting. Uh, here I have my budget planning for several months ahead. So let's assume my net salary is uh, 2,800. Then um, my regular expenses include mortgage uh, payment, then uh, some bills like electricity bills and water and the internet, some uh, food and other regular things like fuel. And then of course I want to spend some money on my hobbies and on my holidays. Now, uh, in general, I'm doing great because the sum is positive. But do I have enough money every month? If not, what expenses I can cut and what effect would it make? Or maybe I can just move some expenses to be all right? Let's answer all these questions. Okay, first thing we want to see here is the sum of cash flows for each month. And already we get an idea that um, in March, June and July our net monthly cash would be uh, negative. But it still doesn't say us uh, when and how much money we will need to insert because it's not yet cumulative. It's not, uh, it doesn't reflect our account. So let's start uh, doing the budget. And let's assume that uh, my initial account or initial liquidity, if you want, is 500 euros. So I, for now, I have 500 euros already on my card. And so my liquidity or cumulative cash flows would be this uh, 500 plus uh, sum of all the cash flows I got before. And so in order for uh, this formula to work, I need to log the first reference here. Yes, it works properly. So, and you see, actually, um, with my initial account being 500, I don't need any extra money in June at all. So now only March and July are problems. And still, this thing doesn't uh, say us that uh, how much money we will need in July, because if we insert additional money in March, then it wouldn't be 700 already here anymore. So um, we need to figure out uh, how much money to insert. And uh, let's, for simplicity, assume that, let's say, I'm taking this money from my parents uh, without need to uh, get them back. And so, uh, for that, I need to understand what is my uh, resulting liquidity. And practically, the point here is that uh, these figures would be always positive. So, I'm not running out of my money and I always can pay my bills and get some food. Okay, so uh, resulting liquidity would be uh, whatever my liquidity is, uh, plus everything that I have inserted before, right? And again, I'm uh, locking the first reference. And when there is nothing to insert, I have exactly the same resulting liquidity. So, and clearly here I would want 300 euros. And then everything what is left is just 400 euros in July, and I will be okay for the whole period.